We'll be rich beyond belief. Mr. Sterling, what is this about? Your legacy. Every time you lose, you damage yourself. I'm sorry. Your racing days are coming to an end. So cool, you know that voice. He plays Sterling in Cars 3. Please welcome the awesome Canadian boy, Nathan Fillion. Shout out to Edmonton. Shout out to your peeps in Edmonton. That's right, I'm from Edmonton, Alberta, and we're back. <laughs> It's so funny. We were just watching Frankie, and we were talking about your guest world. We carry Modern Family here as yes. Rain or Shine, yeah. best name ever. Yes. So what did you think? How did our Frankie do? He's, you know, he did all right. Yeah. I trained as a weatherman for yeah. almost uh, 20 minutes. And? Uh, he's, he's not doing a bad job. Let's say that. But you feel that perhaps Rain or Shine could do an even better job. Well, Rain or Shine has the advantage of incredible hair. <laughs> Listen, you're so charming. All the characters you play should be almost loathable, but you make them lovable. And is it true that director Brian Fee from Cars 3 came up to you and said, I want you to voice Sterling because I hear your charming voice for the role? Is that I a true story? I have never heard that story, <laughs> but I love it. Do you love that and story? And that is now the real thing that happened. Well, how did it feel to be a part of this huge success? It's I can't believe it's been 10 years since the first... One started. What I mean, is the opposite uh, metaphor to rats deserting a sinking ship? What, what, what do you get on? The opposite? It's a train, it's a yeah, coattails. Yeah, 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 what do you yeah. get what on? Is it? You You're get getting, on like a moving train. The, the coattails, you want to get is, the steamed engines. You know you can rely on Pixar. You know you can count on Disney. You know you got an amazing franchise with great characters. You know, you're jumping on to yeah. a very successful franchise, I guess. I hate saying that word. But, but it is one, yeah, right? And yeah. you've been part of it before. I, I have. I was in the Monsters University franchise. I'm you, a, a two-timer. Yeah, you were you know Johnny. I mean? I'm an alumni. <laughs> so tell us about Sterling, because he's awesome looking. But what does he do in Cars 3? He's sort of, is he trying to take advantage of Lightning McQueen, no. you might want to say? No, he's trying to protect Lightning okay. and his his brand. Yeah. His brand. You know, he, he, he's a businessman. He's a yeah. business car. Yeah. He's a business car first. And he's got an investment. He wants to protect his investment. And in that, he's protecting Lightning McQueen. I think what we can learn from this is that if there is a wonderful, amazing car out there, yeah. it is Sterling. It is Sterling, as well as that newbie. That is Jackson Storm. That's a lot of and flash. this really, it's a lot of flash. Yeah, yeah. It's good and that's Army Hammer voicing that, right? Yeah, yeah. Super so, handsome. So we're looking, <laughs> we're looking at a little bit of ageism, which happens in, in the real world, right? I mean, that's, yeah, that's absolutely true. It's time to, like, when when do you when are you the new guy and when are you the old guy? I, yeah. Listen, for myself personally, there were times when I was cast as somebody's son, yeah. and now I get cast as somebody's dad. But... It happens. But you're awesome at both. Thank you. When you lose your place, you find another place, <laughs> guys. That's what I learned from Cars 3. You know what? And you keep the bromance alive. You, I don't know if you'll know this, it's been almost 20 years since you starred with the one and only other Canadian boy who we love, Ryan Reynolds, yes. and two guys, a girl, and a pizza place. Yes, yes, another lovely Canadian, uh, still friends, still hanging Romance. out. It's, I just love that guy. I mean, there are kind, kind, wonderful people in this world, and he's two of them. Uh, so when you were in Cars 3, and you know you're voicing with, he's two of them. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a minute. When you're in Cars 3 alongside Owen Wilson, Kerry Washington, help me, Army Hammer, Go on, go on, go on. Larry the Cable Guy. Right. Cristela Alonso. <laughs> what does it feel like? Do you see each other often? Or I know you were at the premiere on Saturday. When you actually record this, you, you are in, in a vacuum. You are relying very heavily on the director. Oh. You're by yourself in the recording booth. Okay. Books. But when you, the movie is finished, there's this huge party, and everybody gets dressed up in theme, and there's yeah. theme food. I imagine that's how it goes. I missed the movie. <laughs> I had to work. I have no idea is if that's that... actually what happens. I'm making that up. But no. let's just go with that. No, you were there on Saturday. I saw you, the pictures. For the actual premiere. But I didn't act... before the premiere, I didn't actually get to see the movie. I had to work that day. Oh, is that right? Yeah, they let everybody see it so they can talk about it when they promote it. So, but you have seen it. I was promoting in the blind. And what did it feel like now that you actually did get a chance to see yourself as Sterling? Are you like, that's me? This is the coolest job ever again? Here's what's interesting. Uh, they have a camera on you while you are doing your lines. Okay. I talk out of the right side of my mouth. It's kind of like a thing I've done. I don't know why it's one of my things. It's a quirk. Okay. And my car does the same thing. They totally yeah, copied he totally your talks face. Out of the same, he talks out of the same Because you're Sterling. Mouth. Yeah. Sterling's you. Yeah, it's like we had a stroke. <laughs> Nathan no, Fillion, Nathan Fillion, no, no, but you're going to want to see this, guys. It races into theaters Friday, June 16th. For more information, breakfasttelevision.ca. Kev made fun of my sound up earlier. I did a... He said that's... That's a, exact. I mean, it's so honest. It's like that you're was, there. Like a V6? 
Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, right now over to Melanie Ng. Thank you. And we're back. And we're back.